uh, never waste a good crisis. And when it comes to the economic crisis, don't waste it. You never want a serious crisis to go to waste. And what I mean by that, it's an opportunity to do things that you think you could not do before. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances to understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, of course, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and W.O. Book. Also, those who donate to the Cash App, Patreon, much love. And then also those who are purchasing from the store. And basically, guys, I'm going to have the store at the bottom of the descriptions now. I finally got around to getting it done, so that'll be there. Now, of course, guys, we're going to get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Bitcoin took a little leg up along with the stocks. Now, why, guys? Because we got cut another check. That's right. The repo market got another check, guys. It was today. So normally it's every Tuesday. So we either pump Monday or Tuesday. That's just how the game goes. But the fact is, guys, make sure that in cryptos, we look at XRP. XRP didn't move a lot. What? That means Bitcoin is not going to move a lot. Now, what did Bitcoin retrieve back? It's dominance. Remember, 57 to 62%. It always stays in there. So if it drops below that, put your money in, guys. So it's going to come right back up. The altcoins... Think about it. Even when DeFi came and took all this money, Bitcoin still stayed at its dominance between 57 and 62 percent. It's always like that because all that was based on algorithms, guys. So do not forget about it. It has not lost yet. So that's easy money. You see it loses dominance, then you know, OK, let me invest in this really quick because I know that's easy money because it's going to gain it right back. Now, guys, yesterday I went over the repo market with the Fed repo uh, as far as with 11 operation markets. I stayed at September 30th was the deadline. It's actually, I want to do a correction uh, and I want to thank those who researched and did it at the and put it in the comments. So thank you a lot for researching. But basically, it's actually December 31st. Now, we know, guys, they're not going to give us the actual data when they're going to dump. We know this. So we know it's going to be some time before because we know what? The first quarter, we always have a dump of the following year. We always, and if you read this, it says that the commercial paper will stop funding and expires uh, March 17, 2021. So we know that that's going to end. But guys, getting over into crypto news, we have Binance uh, being sued by Japan Exchange FISCO basically for lax KYC. Guys, we know. When it comes to money laundering, crypto, that was the main reason why I got into it. I didn't understand the technology, anything like that. This was back in 2003, late 2013. Didn't understand the technology, anything. But I said, this is a wonderful way of people money laundering. Because I know the United States, the only reason why we run is money laundering, gun running, and drug running. Plain and simple. So I knew for a fact, uh, basically, that's what cryptos be used for. That's the main reason why I invested. But also we have Curve, Ave, Synthetic, and several others join the global DeFi lines. We see DeFi booming. Guys, make sure that we're doing our research and investing if you want to. Now, basically, we have China currency hits an 18-month high. So, guys, we know what I teach you. World War III, China's going to win. We set them up. We get them all the technology, all of our military secrets, all that we gave it to them, guys. Doing Reagan, Bush, Clinton, gave it to him. Uh, Obama, all of it, gave it to him. So guys, make sure we are getting prepared. That's the reason why I did this channel, so you can get yourself prepared. Now we have uh, Georgia and Alabama now, Binance.USA. Uh, and we know Binance is not under, Binance.USA is not under Binance, it's actually under BAM. So don't forget about that also. Now we have Nigeria regulators recognizing digital assets. We know Asia and Africa are the targets. And it's, it's so much symbolism that's going around this. It's like I said, one thing you have to do is go on your television, Netflix, Hulu, and all these Africans are now rich. You don't have no flies run, running around their head. And the thing about it is how they can convince people that Africans are poor when we have a dollar that's just nothing but paper and Africans have all the gold and diamonds and 
anything you want. They have every mineral there is in Africa, guys, but they convince you on television that they're poor. Because what do they do? They go and colonize and steal. So, uh, guys, make sure we understand this. Africa is always the richest continent on the planet. That's why they make, if you look at a globe, Africa is always the smallest, but it's the biggest continent. Like, guys, I just don't understand. But uh, that's where research comes in at. But we have uh, Russia's largest uh, bank joins blockchain trading platform commodities, guys. And we see this constantly, constantly going out. We have Polyant gain token sale is today. So guys, if you want to invest, do your research and do that. We have uh, BNP Paribas, major exchange with DAL, DAML smart contracts. And we see this a lot. So it's definitely coming, guys. We saw China accepting the DAML smart contracts also. Now, uh, basically, getting over to world news, guys, which is uh, funny. And I put this in my Patreon. We have Pepsi bringing out an aid sleep for stress. It's going to be a soda for stress, guys. So we know it's going to sell off the shelves, plain and simple. We know this. We know we're a drug nation. This is going to be perfect for people. So do your research again. Do your research. But we know this product is going to sell off the shelves. Now we have uh, billionaire Steve Cohen buys New York Mets. So guys, just letting you know that the actual, um, if you read my book, baseball, basketball, soccer, tennis, all that's already, you know, global. The only sport they can't take global is NFL. So we know what's going to happen to the NFL. Now we have MicroStrategy buys another $175 million worth of Bitcoin. That brings the total to $425 million, guys. This is for a hedge. So remember, they can always sell off. So do not... Uh, basically put your investment just because they're doing it because a hedging mean you're not trying to lose but you always can change your position so do not forget about that now basically we have the US states bank regulation saying that they're going to come to a uh, full set of rules for the actual fintech firm licensing so that's in 48 states so that's more regulation is coming guys we, we clearly see it we know where this is going and then lastly guys we have Trump extending the terrorist emergency one more year. And guys, you know, I've already been over this. So guys, this is very, very important to keep extending this, guys. This is from 2001. So do not forget about false flags, guys. I just want to make sure y'all keep your eyes on me. You know, I did several videos about Iran. And guys, do not keep continuing this for no reason. I need for y'all to make sure you're educating your family. Get them ready. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and WO Book. Also, cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, your stocks, your chip stocks, Cobalt, banking, gaming stocks. Also, basically, everybody sitting at home, don't forget about the at-home stocks. Your actual C-word, the biotech stocks, the guys are still pumping that. And don't forget about everybody sitting at home waiting on that free money or getting free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day.